Ditto what everybody else said. Thank you. God bless you. <laughs> well, as um, I was preparing this afternoon, and I was writing some things down on a piece of paper, and I was going to bring it with me tonight, and I handed the paper to my lovely, beautiful wife. And I looked at her about 15 minutes ago. I said, do you have that paper for me? She goes, I left it on the dryer. <laughs> And I've been told if you don't have anything nice to say, don't say anything at all. So, you know, as, uh, as Brother Jamie was uh, quoting some scripture, there's 31,102 scriptures in the King James Version. There's 1,189 chapters in the Bible. There's 66 books in the Bible. And I was looking for a scripture that I could get some words of wisdom uh, about Brother Williams, and I couldn't find anything. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. But uh, it was a scripture that I saw in the book of Matthew chapter 25. I don't have it here in front of me, but it, it talked about being faithful with the little things, that God will bless you with more things. How many know what I'm talking about? Yeah. And I know that Pastor Lance has been faithful with the little things, and God has blessed him abundantly with greater things. Amen? Yeah. You know, I met Pastor Lance at TOP, at Tabernacle of Praise. I uh, was an associate pastor at a church in Pittsfield for a number of years, and I had uh, left there, and I started to go to Tabernacle of Praise. And at that time, I was walking, but I walked with the cane. And I remember that there was a uh, an adult uh, Sunday school class in the gymnasium, is that what it was? In the gym, and there was a ramp that went to the gym, and there was a little bitty step on the ramp, and I tripped and fell my first day going to the church. And there I am out in the parking lot in a blue suit, rolling on the ground, trying to get up off the ground, and I couldn't get up because I didn't have that button. Help, I fall and I can't get up, but... And then here come this guy, be bopping, hey, what are you doing, brother? It's like, oh, Lord, what I got myself into. <laughs> and he goes, here, let me help you out. And he comes behind me and picks me up and stands me straight up and starts dusting me off. And, and it was my back that was all dusty. So he started at the top of my head dusting me, and then he started spanking my bottom. <laughs> I'm like, dude, dude, get away from me. I don't know who you are. <laughs> I know you Missouri folks are kind of strange, but come on now. And I fell in love with him from that day on. <laughs> and then years later, when my wife and I were married and we were getting ready to go, uh, uh, it was a couple years after we were married, uh, Vance was working in my house and uh, he was uh, putting a new floor in my kitchen for me. And it was uh, my wife and I's anniversary. And we are going to go drop, drop the kids off at the sitter. My wife and I were going to drive up to Quincy and stay the night and, and uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyway, <laughs> and, I don't know where I'm going with that, but uh, <laughs> I got hot up here. <laughs> I don't even know what to, what to say now. <laughs> Needless to say, I was going to the van and I tripped and fell again and I fell and broke my hip. I fractured it. I was laying on the ground, and my wife ran in and said, Lance, Jim, Phil, can you help me? And Lance came behind me, and picked me straight up. You know, and uh, took me to the hospital, stayed 16 days in the hospital, had surgery, but he was there for me again. And God placed him in my life then. And uh, he's been picking people up for years. Amen. He's been dusting people off for years. And if you're not careful, he'll spank your own. <laughs> He's done that once or twice. And, uh, you know, for years he's been doing this. And he's been faithful in the little areas. And God has blessed him in the big areas. The Bible says how beautiful are the feet of those who are, are preachers. Well, he has stinky feet. I don't know how beautiful those are. But, uh, but it's, it's beautiful to see a man that, that started from where he started from and where he is today. And I know most of you know where Lance started from. Mm -hmm. Some of you know where he is today. But until you walk in his 
feet, his shoes, and so on and so forth. I look at a man that has been such a blessing in my life. He, we, we talk off and on, and, and I know he talks to many of you. Uh, he likes to, he likes to talk. Amen. He, he's a he's a true preacher because he likes to talk. But but he's been such a blessing to my life, and and I see this building. I see what God has done in hearts and lives and people. And, and in this past 10 years, you know, I've been trying to keep up with him. You know, he's been the person I've looked to for strength and help. And like Brother Jake, he's been there for me as well. You know, as pastors, sometimes we feel like we're all alone out there in the world. You know, sometimes as a pastor, it could be kind of a thankless job. And it's not really a job, but you know what I'm talking about. So you have to have somebody that you can lean on. And I have to find the pastor, Lance, you can lean on him. Because he's a big boy. You know, <laughs> back 15 years ago when I fell that first time and he met me, we were both a lot skinnier. <laughs> he wasn't wearing skinny jeans that day. But um, I, I look at Pastor Missy, you know, uh, Missy used to cut my hair. And I remember the first uh, couple times she cut it, then she cut my eyebrow. And uh, made it bleed like you wouldn't believe. I bled like a set pig. And, and uh, I wasn't going to bring that up. I bet you did. But I just want to say that you are truly blessed to have him as a pastor. To have him as a friend. And in this past 10 years, God has really blessed not just this church, but has blessed his life. He has some beautiful children. And... Uh, and that is one way God is getting back at him, you know, with his little girls, because they are going to be a handful, are they not? But I continue, and I know you do, continue to pray for him, continue to pray for Missy and his family, and I'm going to believe that this next 10 years is going to be even greater than the last 10 years of his life. Amen. Amen. 